What's going on everybody? Charlie the Ranch. Um, so I just finished recording the video on the 2003 Kia Sorento coolant leak. Um, it should have just published before this one. Go check it out. Um, it's a good video. Quick. Easy diag. So what I have now is another problem we've been having with this car. Uh, once again I said in the other video that this car set for a little while. We got it. It was going to be scrapped. I saved it from the junkyard. This car set for several years. It was underneath the pine tree. Pretty much every drain on the body was clogged. So we removed the front fender, cleaned the drain. Um, there was uh, behind the uh, fender liner, uh, there was tons of leaves, pine straw, whatnot. Really easy. Should have just removed the fender liner, hit it with a water hose. Probably could have saved a lot of work, but. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to be very thorough. So an issue that we've been having is um, water will get in the passenger floorboard. Don't start smoking; it's a horrible habit. But so anyway, so this thing is set for a long time. Um, we're getting water in the passenger's floorboard. Not every time it rains, but. If we get a hard rain, if we're getting a half inch in a day, a floorboard's going to be wet. Uh, we thought that cleaning out the fender drains would solve the problem because there was so much, I wish I had a picture of it, but there was so much pine straw leaves and just dirt in the um, rain gutter beneath the windshield. Uh, I expected there was moisture running into the air box. So we cleaned this clean out the fenders where the drains are we're still getting this problem just the other day it rained maybe an inch and uh, I'm still getting moisture in the passenger floorboard so even though I'm a professional technician sometimes I need to go online to Google different forms find out what other people have found and I've got a pretty good indication of what's going on that I want to check out so this car 03 Kia Sorento EX has got a sunroof and the area around the sunroof is filthy there's I mean there's so much stuff in there alright so the inside of this thing is really filthy there was tons of leaves I mean handfuls of leaves pine straw and dirt in the rain gutter beneath the windshield so what I'm going to show you is uh, things to check I'm going to try these myself um, and see if it solves a problem and I will more than likely I'll post a, an updated video to fill you in on the, on the on the solution as to whether or not this works but I've already looked I found a few things that are very interesting and some things I'm going to try and really won't know until it rains again I guess I could take a hose and look for leaks but I'm just going to wait and see if it if it fix it So once you pop the hood on your Kia, um, and many cars are like this, uh, you remove the wiper arms. Now, uh, I've already removed them, like I said, I've already done a visual inspection. Um, you have 14 millimeter nuts that hold on the wiper arms, and you should be able to move those back and forth and get those off. Then you have your gutter cover here. Like I said, I've already been in here. So all the little clips, you should have, um, little um, plastic push pins in here that hold this in, pa in place uh, retaining clips so you remove both these now you can access your wiper motor the arms and this is your rain gutter so as you can see I mean there's there's still stuff in here but this discoloration this is like a door jam this is going to collect dirt and eventually it can get stopped up now what I want to show you is uh, let's see if I can get you a good view. Hang on, let me get my light. So what I want to show you is, right back here, in this corner, right there. Let's see if this will focus. This... 
that is where your sunroof drain is and you can see this one's pretty clogged up now the problem we're having is on the passenger side and I assume this is my drain for the passenger side and it almost looks hang on I'm trying to coordinate both hands here it almost looks as if it's pushed inside of the cow right there so I'm gonna fish that out and see if that's what it is and see if it's just pushed back in there now up top so up here on the sunroof you can see I mean we, we spent hours cleaning this car but there's still stuff up here and in the corner in this area there's your drain this is where your water runs from your sunroof down to those drains and this is where I suspect I'm having a problem so I'm gonna clean these out and we'll give it a shot see what happens alright so we're on the first drain here I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the camera but so you can see right back there the drain that's what I'm going in after right there probably not going to be able to see anything because my arm's going to be in the way. But all I'm doing, I'm going to take a long screwdriver. See if anything falls out. Oh yeah, it's clogged up pretty good. Taking a pick with this end on it here. I'm gonna just dig around in there and see if I can get anything out. You probably can't see anything other than the back of my head right now. But anyways, let's look over here at this side. I'm going to see if I can't get in there and pull that side out now. That's definitely what it is. And it's got water in it. That may very well have been our problem. Oh yeah. 
It's got plenty of water running out. But there's like, it's like got a flange on it. There's probably somebody somewhere who knows exactly where this goes and is probably cussing at how I'm doing this. Seems like that's out. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the top and I'm going to use a shop vac. I'm going to clean out the debris from up top. I think I'm going to put a water hose on it and see how well it drains. Alright guys, so I'm not going to bring you along on this part just because my compressor is so loud. Basically, you got this shield that I had to remove off this car. It's four Phillips head screws, two on either end, two up front. Then you've got little hooks that sit down in the channel up here in the sunroof. And you can slide those to the right where the, where the right little hook is. It's like a, oh, let me show you. So you've got these hooks like this and they sit just like that and up top is where your screw is that holds this little uh, wind, wind deflector whatever you want to call it holds it uh, in place um, and so once you get that off you have your channel up here and you can see there's pine straw and even down in there well you can't really see it but I mean it's nasty there you go and this piece here you move that clean it up this film on this thing it almost makes me think it's been replaced at some point in time but so anyways I'm gonna use a pick a set of long needle nose pliers and my compressor powered vacuum cleaner this little guy here So this is powered off of Shop Air. It's a Matco. Uh, tons of different brands available, but that's what I'm using. So I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna get this cleaned out.
All right, so here we go. This is the right side drain, and you can see a little bit trickling out there. I'm gonna step up top and pour some uh, water on the sunroof, and uh, you can see what it's doing now. As you can see, it's draining like it should. And even on the other side, my camera's probably gonna fall. I'm gonna pour a little more on the other side. You can see this one. Yeah, draining like it should. Now, with that not sticking through that hole, I'm going to say it was leaking into the dash, into the AC box. I'm going to say that's my problem. The only way to be for certain is to dry out the carpet and uh, wait for a good rain and see if it gets wet again. But I'm going to pretty much say that that's a confirmed. I'll do another video to follow up behind it um, and uh, go from there but I, I don't know I feel like that leaking behind that dash is is part of my problem or could be the entire problem but yeah I'm gonna say a confirm there I'll do a follow up and let you know for certain if it happens again but I don't think I'm going to have any more problems out of this. Yeah, so um, I was going to leave this video at just a, you know, I'm pretty sure this is what the problem is, but I couldn't do that. Uh, my conscience wouldn't let me. Um, so I decided to break out the smoke machine, check and see where this compartment is, where this rubber fitting that we pulled out, where this goes. And my theory is if I fill that area full of smoke, if it comes out in the cab, I, I know that's my problem. Uh, I don't want to pour water into the cab if I don't have to. So I want to show you what I've done. So I've got my smoke machine hooked up. And I've got the boot pushed back in. And I've got smoke going directly in through this hole. And just so you know that I'm not... Let's see. But I'm not staging this at all. You can see the smoke coming out. Back in the hole. Boom. That's all I needed to know. So obviously that opens up to the inside of the dash. That's why I was getting water in the passenger compartment. Was that drain right there. So I'm going to pull the smoke machine down, pull the fitting out. And I'm going to call that a confirmed repair. Um, obviously, if the smoke is getting into the cab from behind there, that's obviously dumping into the dash. That's why we were getting water in the compartment I'm, I'm calling it confirmed fix now I don't know why um, why that fitting was pushed back somebody had to have been in there at some point in time and pushed it back either that or it was never right from the factory like I said this was no three it had 91,000 miles when we got it and the connectors were extremely corroded to a point that they were falling apart in my hand that's actually why the car came in it had a uh, check engine light on and it was for the constant positive memory going to the ECM. Um, so I'm going to call it a confirmed repair. So I just keep adding to this video. So after I pushed the fitting in with the smoke machine adapter, I actually pushed it so far back that I couldn't get to it anymore. Um, 
and I just immediately my head exploded and I, I was like, oh, I've got to pull the dash out now in order to get this. But I want to show you what I found. So anyways, let me show you what I found. I think you'll, I think you'll like this. So I removed the glove box. And if you're doing this yourself, on the side of the glove box, you've got this square hole right here. And you have this tab. You just have to turn it sideways and fit it through the hole. And that's on a little tensioner. Keeps your glove box from falling in your lap. So what we're looking, this is your HVAC box. I don't know, to be honest, if I'm going to be able to get you a clean shot. But we're going to try. So if you look towards the center of your screen, you can see a wiring harness. You can see red and yellow and whatnot, a large wiring harness with the factory tape wrapped around it. Right. Oh, come on. Oh, hang on. I cannot get in there with the tripod. Man, this is so awkward. So if you look above that harness, I'm going to try to, right there, oh come on focus. So if you look above that harness, that is the drain. So it literally dumps out right behind the dash. So it literally dumps out right behind the dash, right behind the AC box. So that's where the water intrusion was happening. Okay, so finally, in closing, I'm calling this a confirmed fix. Obviously, we see the sunroof drains. The passenger side was behind the dash. And so that thin piece of sheet metal, there, there, there's no void space there. That directly opens up into the passenger compartment. So that explains why I was having water intrusion, why our carpet was getting wet. That essentially tells me that is a root problem of everything and and I want to add on to that this car roughly worth five thousand dollars was bought brand new in 2003 it was uh, of the backstory it was driven by the granddaughter of the owner through high school and college and after she graduated she bought a different car and this one set it set until they needed it again um, it came to the shop I was at, I diagnosed it, and I diagnosed the symptom. I did not diagnose the exact problem because they just wanted to know why the check engine light was on. That was enough for them to write off the car for scrap. I capitalized on the moment, bought the car because I wanted to spend a little more time. I knew it had potential. The interior was immaculate. It was one owner, low miles car. Um, and my wife was very happy because I gave the car to her, but so the root problem, I guess what I'm getting at, the sunroof drain that was not properly installed into the dash, and I'm going to say properly installed because there's, there's nothing else there. There's nothing in that area that you would be servicing that would cause that sunroof drain, you'd never push that back out of any kind of maintenance. The, the, the wiper motor, I can look at it and tell that it's factory. So 
I can't believe that, you know, even if the wiper motor was replaced, that you could accidentally hit it and knock it through the hole. It's, it's, it's too tight of a fit, and there's nothing there that was serviced. I mean, when, I, when we first cleaned out the car, um, I never even thought to look at it, to be honest with you. And, um, I mean, all the, the push pin connectors, everything was had never been touched. You could see no pry marks on them. Um, actually, I broke three of them in the process. But I'm definitely going to say that that was an improper installation from the factory that caused water intrusion into the passenger compartment, which that passenger floorboard compartment on the 03 uh, Sorrentos, that's where the ECM lives. And I wish I still had the connectors to show you, but they were crusty, they were green, the wires were breaking. So I'm definitely going to call this a confirmed repair. Um, I have pressurized the cab and went along every scene with the smoke machine off camera uh, before I decided to film this and, and checked for seal leaks. And there, there were none. There was nothing. Um, so this definitely is a confirmed repair. And, um, yeah, I'm sure my wife's going to be happy. But um, I'm finally going to close this video. Uh, I want to say thank you for everybody watching. Hopefully this gives you something to look forward to if you're having the same issue. Um, who knows, maybe it was a one-time thing. Maybe there are a lot of them that have this problem. Um, but, yeah, so anyways, if the video helped you out, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments box at the bottom. I try to answer them as fast as possible. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to try to put out plenty more videos for you guys. And uh, just pass on some free information. And, and uh, hopefully it helps. Thank you all.